Hello and welcome to Unstop Wrestling on Chat. My name is Barry and this is your Vengeance Day, NXT Vengeance Day <laughs> review. I still can't get over that name. Like, yeah, I still can't get over it. I don't think it's the best sounding name, but anyway. <laughs> don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that little beautiful notification bell so you can be notified anytime that I upload, which is daily, guys, every single day. This week, just a quick update, we've got a good amount of podcasts coming out this week. Um... So far, I think I've got three that will be out this week. Um, and I think maybe next week we might have a, a fourth and fifth. So it's pretty cool, guys. Anyway, let's get into the review what you're here for. So we get the debut, the kind of kickoff thing, the debut of Eli Drake, or as he's going to be known in NXT as uh, LA Knight. Then we kick off the show, really, with the women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals. Dakota Kai and Gonzalez versus Amber Moon. Um, and Blackheart, I keep forgetting how, how, how you pronounce her first name, <laughs> so Blackheart is what it's called. Um, Kai and Gonzalez pick up the win here, I, I kind of expected this. Three stars guys, this was an awesome match, a really good opener for the show, and a good setter for the rest of the show as well. Everybody in this looked good, and it was just a really, really good match. Then we got the NXT North American Championship, Johnny Gargano versus Kushida. Um, Gargano got the win here four stars guys a hell of a match Gargano looked like his old self again um, Kishuda even in defeat looked great which was is the best thing ever like to make him look good in defeat instead of from just outright beating him because it took so much to defeat him but um, everybody in this looked great I, again everybody in this match looked great I know it was only two people but you know what I mean <laughs> the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final the male version of it, uh, Grizzle Ring Veterans versus MSK, four stars again, guys. Hands down, one of the best matches on this card. It had everything. It I, it was just another great match. Really, really was. Um, it was. I don't even know what else to say. It was a great match. It, it had everything. I I loved the whole thing. Um, it just looked good. Everybody in it looked good. And again, it was just a great match. Now we've got NXT Women's Championship. Io Shirai versus. Mercedes Martinez versus Tony Storm. I wish I got the win here, as I expected. I gave this one a 2.5 stars. Now, it was fun to watch. It was still a really good match. But it wasn't as good as everything else that's on the show. And the other thing as well is, it kind of felt like a little bit... I don't know, something was missing. There was quite a few botches in the match as well. And one thing that really disappoints me is Tony Storm hasn't had a standout moment yet. She's a great wrestler, but she just hasn't had a standout moment in NXT to make people be like, she's, she deserves the belt, or she's a good, a good person to watch, which is disappointing. Um, so two point five for this one. Then we get NXT Championship Finn Balor versus Pete Dunn. Four stars, four point five stars. This was great, guys. It had everything. Finn Balor at the moment, just this character doesn't work for me at the minute. I don't know. He's just there to beat the shit out of people, really, isn't he? And he's, he's doing it well, like it's working. Pete Dunne looks great as well. This was a war, guys. It really was a, a brilliant match. I don't know what else to say about it. Like, go check it out if you haven't. It was a, a fantastic match. Um, Danny Burke and Lo Locran, is it? Locran? I can barely say that either. <laughs> come out at the end to attack Finn, the Undisputed Era. Um, they come out to kind of save Finn. Finn and Undisputed Era stand tall until Adam Cole super kicks, kicks Finn. Um, by the way, Finn won the Pete Dunne match. He retained. So <laughs> Adam Cole uh, super kicks Finn. Then Kyle is kind of like, what are you doing? Roddy's like pulling the bed, pairing them apart. And then uh, Adam Cole super kicks Kyle. Cole ends up leaving. It was a great segment. I thought this was amazing at the end. The fact that Cole's kind of I feel he was floundering a little bit and then he's pretty much back in that main event scene which I think is going to be going to be great. Anyway, overall guys, four stars I'm giving the show. It was a great show. I loved it. Pretty much every match hit the ball at the park. The Adam Cole super kick stuff at the end was great. For me, for me personally, NXT hasn't been the same this year. It really, really has missed the mark for me. Um, it's missed the mark in a lot of stuff and I really think this just puts it on par again. Like, this just... They've, they've made themselves good again. Like, I don't know how you would explain it. 
Like I was really not enjoying NXT this year at all. It was quite sluggish. And this has made me perk back up to see it, which I'm quite happy about. I'm hoping that they keep this good kind of movement going. I hope they keep moving forward like this and keep the, the momentum. But we know what WWE is like. Anyway, guys, great show. If you haven't checked it out, go get it, go check it, and love it, because it's a really, really great show. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for the WCW Monday Nitro Watch Along, um, but I'll see you here tomorrow for your Monday Night Raw review, and there's a podcast tomorrow as well. See you later, guys. <laughs>